For six decades, it sat perched atop the mountain, the king of color film. Generations of photographers brought home their vacation slides, dropping them one by one into carousel projectors and rounding up the kids for the big living room show. On the side of each little cardboard holder was stamped the word Kodachrome. The pictures back then were so real, so full of texture. The color rich and grainy gave the film a soul that no app could match. The last roll of Kodachrome came off the line at the Eastman Kodak Company plant in 2009. And now many photographers old enough to remember that nostalgia are searching through drawers and boxes in their refrigerators looking for one more roll to shoot. But their time has almost run out, and so has mine. So a few weeks ago, I found my last unexposed roll of Kodachrome 200. It's been stored in one freezer or another since 1996, left over from a batch I used to photograph the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta. It expired years ago, and I had no idea if it was good or not. I had Americana on my mind for the last roll of Kodachrome that I was going to shoot. So I got in the car and headed to the Missouri State Fair in Sedalia. I had one roll, just 36 exposures, and I told myself for every picture I saw, I would only allow myself to click the shutter once. So I used a digital camera to help with exposure and to shoot some backup pictures in case this film came back blank. Wow, I hadn't heard that sound of a film camera in quite a while. It's that mechanical whir as the film advances to the next frame. There's also a mystery to shooting film, not having that instant gratification screen on the back of the camera and you can look at every picture and make sure you did things right. I left the fair about midnight with a choice. I could either ship off the film and get it back in two days, see if I had pictures or not, or I could drive about 200 miles to the last lab in the United States that develops Kodachrome, Dwayne's Photo in Parsons, Kansas. So I decided to drive. And I drove and I drove, got a little coffee. Finally stopping for a three hour rest at a roadside motel in El Dorado Springs and getting up at dawn and finishing off the drive. About 9 a.m. Tuesday morning, I pulled up to the drive-in window in a little tiny parking lot at Duane's. Sprayed in a dull orange paint at the top of the window were the words Kodachrome Lab. I got out of the car, it was still raining, and finished off my last roll of Kodachrome. Figured it would be appropriate to take pictures at the film's final destination. The ladies behind the counter smiled as I explained that this is my last roll of Kodachrome. I think they'd heard this story before. I told them I'd wait for it, and I settled down into a small coffee shop downtown. I waited about three hours, I guess, total, and then the phone rang. Your film is ready, said the lady on the line. Okay, are there pictures, I asked nervously. Well, I don't know, it's film is rolled up in tube. Would you mind unrolling it for me and having a look? The shop was only about a 10 minute drive from the coffee shop. I just couldn't imagine making that drive and not knowing.